In day 29 of 30 days of AL programming, we are going to look at how to loop through all the JSON keys. And basically, there is a method known as the jobject.keys from the JSON data type. This video is a continuation of the uh, previous video released yesterday on day 28 of 30 days of AL programming where we made a HTTP request to this URL to get some values here and uh, okay for yesterday we actually had to look specifically for some properties distinctively we went and said we want property number title which we got here we confirmed if there is a success status code and then we were able to pass the JSON uh, string into the text from the uh, HTTP response message. We were able to pass it into the uh, response text JSON, after which we were able to use the JSON token to also uh, read the data from the text. And we confirmed that the token was containing an object because the token is a base, um, a base data type for uh, working with JSON, uh, all JSON types, including the values, the text, and all that. So, and then we are able to uh, to get the object from the token because the token can be an object, and then and the object. Okay, so. The token has all the data types and we are able to get the object from the token. So today we are going to loop through the keys or to loop through the JSON values. And basically there is a method known as uh, jobject.keys which basically is a list of text and gets the list of keys from on the JSON object. So it definitely gets the list of keys in form of a list of text. So definitely it needs to be stored in a list of text. So we could define a list of text maybe and store it there, but there is a way of if we wanted to loop through through the JSON. So it will we'll be like uh, uh, the JSON key. This is a text that I've defined uh, for each JSON key in J object dot keys. So for each J JSON key in J object dot keys, do begin and definitely here this JSON key text will have all the JSON keys in this case. Uh, it will it will be containing the next JSON key. So we can basically be able to message out the keys for each iteration. We'll, able, we'll be able to see this. And the other thing that now we can be able to get the value. But we need to verify the type of value that is there. But um, so uh, we need now to get we are getting with the key remember when you're using the json.get we are passing in the key which is now looped here and more dynamic and we are able to store the result in at JSON token. So I've defined a custom JSON token, the base data type for JSON, handling JSON. So I've defined it and we'll be able to hold the, the, the value there because we are now trying to get the value. It will now part of the key. It will be in the JSON token. And we can now be able to confirm is it an array or is it a value? Or is it an object? But for us, let's focus on uh, the values. 
So if it ha we have a value now, we can message out the value. So we'll say um, dot as value dot as text, because we'll basically convert any value that is coming here as text. And this is how we run for each loop actually. And this is how we are able to dynamically fetch every information that is in um, in the JSON string or the JSON text. And definitely we do have the option now to be able to have it, uh, we can conf to, to, to also loop through the objects. We can confirm using these parameters. Is it a value? Is it an array? Is it a what? Uh, or an object and then we can be able to run through through it. So let's do a test. So definitely there is an error or there is some movement in our HTTP Okay, so here it is. We are now looping. I think we have four values. The, the second, the third, and the fourth. And now we can be able to preview them from our side here. And we can start with the user ID is one. Then the ID is the five. The title is that title. And the body contains that information. So basically, that's how we have been able to dynamically preview the data from the JSON and list it using the JSON keys. So I'll see you in the last day of, of 30 days of AL programming. That will be day 30. And at the same time, it is the 30th day of November. So see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.